Okay. After maybe like one more time of trying to figure out what to do, well, one or two, trying to figure out what to do, I figured out what to do. So I figured I'd start right back off where I left, where I left off. I love how I'm just constantly repeating myself when I'm talking. Hammer on the wall. I knew when the game told me that I needed to get rid of the uh, that after I'd already used the screwdriver, that I needed to. It didn't know if I needed to use it ever again. That it was a good thing I took the hammer and the crowbar with me. Oh, I'm skipping words now. Shit, I'm sorry. I forget I had already read that. He's basically saying, I wonder if this goes all the way to the ceiling. And then this is where I stopped. After I figured out what to do. I need to go to the infirmary. Oh, so we teleport. That's saying something. You've been in a gas-filled chamber for a while. There's a very likely chance that something's wrong. Well... Why'd you come? Yeah, it's David saying. Why'd you come back if you knew it was dangerous? I, I always love that 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 way that it's spelled when someone's trying to say "shut up," when they're going "shut up." Oh, it's just weird spellings and people saying things the way that no one really ever says them. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, well, you know I can climb up elevator shafts one-handed because I go. I kind of went to flight school. That's what makes real men going to flight school. It's all kinds of dangers here. <laughs> I want to share a bed with you, buddy. Come on. Oh, no. Don't read it, D. Guess you had to find out sometime.
It's better to know the truth than to just blindly reach out for something that you can never achieve, D. Where the hell did you go? Check down here first since I'm already down here. I found them. What's going on with his face? It looks like he has no eyes, and he's got like a white piece of tape across his mouth. I have a feeling one of these is the wrong choice. Fuck it, I'll tell him. I'll tell him how it is. He doesn't seem like the type of likes to be babied. <laughs> wow, David. Just wow. Your eyes? You're not blind, are you? How could you be running around blind? Well, maybe he's like really, really nearsighted. Colorblind. That sucks, man. You know, I just noticed that whenever you look at D's name, it's like a frowny face emoticon. I'm guessing I chose the right thing. Good for you, D. Oh. 
Come on, Chuckles, what the hell is your problem? Every time I'm about to bring a new friend home, you show up and ruin it. He's chasing me, though. Oh, okay. David just said that. Well, good thing I picked up that pipe. Come on, bastard. You want some of me? Oh fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it! I got stuck. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Dubes. I'm gonna beat you this time, you son bitch. I'm gonna beat you so bad you'll run back to your crooked house to cry to your crooked mother about how I gave you a crooked ass whooping. Yeah, motherfucker. Mess with me again. Damn slow, I'm fighting a monster, you jackass. I don't think it's done for yet. Okay, I think they probably meant to put a comma there, so that way it'll be, I don't think it's meant to, I don't think it's done for, yet. As opposed to how it really reads is, but I don't think it's done for yet. Oh, I'm not really a grammar Nazi, and I may be interpreting that wrong, but oh well. At least you're finally coming to your senses. Convenient! Okay, this is something else that's making me think he's somehow psychologically connected to the Crooked Man. Or maybe the Crooked Man is making him feel compelled to go find whoever the old tenant was.
Even though I know nothing about you other than the letter D. I don't even know your real name. And that's the end of the chapter. So I'll make that the end of the video. Uh, if you watched, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.